What's up, fam? We are at Port Miami. We're at the Carnival Celebration, man. It's a lot going on out yeah. here. But when I told y'all before, it is a well-oiled machine out here. Yeah, it is. So literally, by the time we pulled up, our bags was on the cart with their lights. Yep, yeah, right over there. So right now, right now we're just waiting for my aunt to get her stuff straight because she rented a motorized scooter from here. Yeah. So I don't want to leave them yet, but we're about to get on the ship, meet the rest of our family, get our first reaction of the celebration because yeah. uh She's a big one. She's a big one. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people out here to get on this ship today, buddy. It's a lot of people that are going to be on this ship. Yeah. So we about ready to go check in now. We are. Uh, we saw down there we was getting the bags. They had the canine dog jumping up on the bags and smelling all the bags. And I got out of the way because they even, look, when you're not even the person that them done something, them dogs make you think you did something. Right. I got to get all, I can't. I cannot do them dogs. Yeah. Alright, it's time to get on the gangway. You ready, buddy? I'm ready. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Too bad, too bad we can't leave that in there. <laughs> Maybe do like a small clip. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited too, man. Like you finally back on finally back on the gangway, baby. Finally back on it. It feels like my birthday group was like yeah. I'm not really responsible for my piece. And I actually can have fun. Yeah, man. It's about, it's, about, it's about to be lit. Hey. Hey. Right, okay, okay. Hey, Sean. Stage right there. All right. This is, this song is huge, man. I get this monster over with. Yeah, me too. Yo, this is nice, man. So far. What's going on? What's going on, fam? Going good, man. Going good. Going good. Going good. Hi right, now. <laughs> All right, so now we're trying to find our monster station so we can do our I see B6 right there. Yes. So we are. Uh, Headed on over to B6 to our muscle station to get this over what, mine? All right, fam, we are hitting the Lido deck finally. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is huge. I can't appreciate that it looks like the other ones. Yeah. But just a little bit. What's going on? What's going on, bro? How you doing? <laughs> All right, fam. We we are still exploring the ship. We actually in the back of the ship now. They have so many eating spots up here. So this is the Tides pool. This is the Infinity pool right here. Then uh, there's uh, Shaq's uh, big chicken over there. So we're gonna continue exploring. We made it. We are in our cabin. cabin. Hey. We're on the 16th deck. We're in two, 16, 2, 6, 7. Yeah. We and when perfect, I tell you. Perfect location. Uh, when I tell perfect. you. And we're going to show you. Elevator come through the side corridor. Right there. Oh, we're like right here. Like when we hit the corner and I said, is that our room? <laughs> I said, because when I tell you, everything is literally yeah. right here. Right here. Yep. Baby, I'm a travel agent. And I am impressed with my own self right now. Huh? I'm like, girl, you I'm, did. I'm, I'm glad that you my agent, Mike. You my agent and my queen. Boom. But queen first, though. Hello. Hey. But let, hey, <laughs> let's not be rude. Let's show y'all around. All right, so we're already in the room. So I do like that the bed comes first because I do not like having to maneuver around the bed to get out of the balcony. Yeah. To get in and out because that just drives me nuts. 
But anyway, so of course you have the bed, sleeper sofa that you can pull out if you need to. We're not having any guests. Of course you have this area right here that we'll use as like a little desk or vanity area. Yeah. Then you have your balcony out there as well. Yeah, we're going to go out there. It's not the biggest room, but it's good for two people. Mm-hmm. Um, beside the beds. Hey, I noticed they got a plenty of plugs. We might not even need no no extra. What you call it? Ooh, they got look at this. This lights up. Okay. So the vanity lights up. Very virgin esque. But like my husband said, a lot of USBs. Yeah, two yeah, USBs. Yeah. And regular um cords. Um phone. I did like that because I do have um a pine nut allergy, a tree nut allergy. They left me a letter from the executive chef letting me know that they take it seriously and if i had any questions about any of the food that i was eating to let them know yep and i was like okay that's dope of course tv yeah does it have our name on it i don't see it yeah i name it on this one all right on the side of the beds of course now if you see I'm, we're doing this fast because you've probably seen this a million times but they don't have the nightstands which i can i can appreciate they just have these little shelves right here because at all the end of the day you're all just, you need for your drink and your phone you'll drink your phone and if you have some kind of like medicine or something or you need to store that vibrator or that dildo that part <laughs> all right so we have the bathroom and this is very much putting me in the mind of virgin yeah and it's stressing me out already but wow. i will say that they thought they thought it through when virgin did not is that they actually have shelves yeah they got yeah so even though it's not a big space at least you have shelving yeah, at least this, this is a shower over here. And this here. is the shower. So it's it's actually the same setup, literally. Yeah. Except for they don't have that rain shower here like the Virgin. Virgin oh, praise him. Yeah, Virgin had the rain shower right there, but they just got the one. Because Carnival know that most of their demographic is black folk, and we don't do that. <laughs> so. Hey, but we ain't moving in, so this will work. It'll work. For right now. Now, at first, they had me booked into a handicap room, and I was like, how the heck did y'all switch me to this? Y'all need to switch me back. So they did, but the handicap room bathroom was huge. But I didn't want it because it had a shower curtain. <laughs> um, and then you don't want to take from somebody that actually needs it. So, of course, you have the closet area right here. You yeah. have the mirror. Very virgin-esque. But virgin doesn't did not do as good of a job as they did here virgin is very when it came to their rooms we told you it's a very ikea this is this feels like quality yeah so you have your safe here safe looks like it's big enough to fit like your um macbook yeah. and then you have the shelves of course that slide in and out oh that's dope okay and we have extra extra <clears throat> of the hangers Mm -hmm. And then we, of course, have these hangers right here if we need to take and set something down to dry cleaning or to have it. And we do and when we our do. bags come. Right. Well, I like how they do that. Yeah, it's dope. Mm -hmm. So our balcony is not huge. It's pretty standard for yeah. a cruise ship balcony. But what I did like is when I picked this, I really did my research because not all balcony cabins are created the same on the ship. Some of them are in direct sun. They do not have a covering like this one does. Go ahead and point up. So yeah. that means that anybody that's underneath you can really look down on you and see. And like this. Just like this. Yep. And then if you have these corner um, cabins that's on the bump outs, you got to be careful of that too because once you come out on your balcony and everybody else is on their balcony you're on full display yep. so so no nasty nasty out no. here man and we have a camera right here i don't know if it was a camera or is a light that's a camera because i can see the three lights the three go things well we'll see tonight but i think it's a yeah camera. um but other than that um it's a beautiful show it is beautiful and huge but so, well, that's the room that's the room Nothing special, no sweets, no junior sweets, no nothing. Regular balcony. <laughs> yeah. Um, and for people that always ask, do I need to bring a beach towel? These yep. are the towels that they will provide in your room. Yep. You can take them with you, but you make sure you bring them back because if you don't bring them back, they will charge you $22. Yep. It was 20 They only added it to $2 on it because they're on a new ship. <laughs> and then like I told y'all, these um, liter and a half uh, waters. So 25 Right. You know, you might as well go ahead and buy 
these no. for ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. usually I, I would buy two of these, but we drink the water in the restaurants. Yeah, they the don't most. kill us. So this will get us by. But this definitely game changer because usually they hardly, hardly ever had any plugs on carnival ships. Yeah. So and we might we might even need our uh, um, extension. And they have USBs beside the, the bed. bed. So we probably won't even need our um, freaking extension cord this yeah. time. So you can take your stuff and. That's dope. Yeah, I okay. really like that. Oh, look at this. Let's look at the cooler. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's different. And I do love that it has that wine cooler look with the yeah. glass door. So it doesn't look ancient. Somebody don't scratch the skid up. No, that's hair. Uh. <laughs> I gotta wash my hands. That's dope. So for my wine. So matter of fact, my cousin <laughs> brought my wine on for me. And it won't nothing but a, but a blessing that she got it on here because... She yeah. Had four bottles with her. So her and her husband went in two separate lines and told them that this wine is for my wife. This 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 wine is for my husband. Yeah, and this is the wine that she get for us uh, when she live in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. We can't get it in We Richmond. can't get it in Richmond unless we order it and yeah. you have to order a certain quantity of it yeah. to get it. So I told him, please fly me some of this. I don't even do coconut like that. But this right here? But that's good. We um we had we bought wine at home, but what had happened was is the wine because we had to bring some other stuff on here with us. The wine took us over the fifty pounds for Delta, and we was like, do we want to pay an extra fifty bucks for three dollar wine for three for for cheap wine, or do we just want? So that's why we hooked it up with Cuz. So the wine that we bought is still at home. So yeah, we can't wait for our bags to get here so we can unpack and unload. But um, we're gonna unload these um carry on bags, and Man. we will see y'all in a bit. Hey, you came and told me. I know you ain't open. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm, we were in the room. You heard the knock on the door, and they delivered my luggage to another room that ain't even down. Like it's not even in eye distance. Like I can't even see where she went. Right. And thank God she was honest enough to find me because literally the tag has my room number so of course she could find me easily right so she said she's gonna bring it back down yeah wow man i appreciate you yeah <laughs> now how they did that i don't have no know. idea <laughs> thank you so much it pays to have good vibes out here in the world because somebody could have held this hostage and we would have had a limited amount of clothing and stuff but this is actually a lesson learned and actually a teachable moment that I told y'all that we had started doing and we did it this time. Yes. Is that we split our luggage between two different things. Mm -hmm. So both his and I are in one and his and I are in the other, other as one. well. Right. So this is enough to get us a buy for a couple of days. All of our toiletries though is in this one. Yep. So it could be really bad. Yeah. If that had happened. Yep. So... Very well, hopefully they didn't take our other bag and, 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 and take it to somebody else's room. Yeah. So, it, it's got kind of got me on guard a little bit. But at the same time, this one is the one with the stuff in it that we immediately need. So, some of these things are the things we're not going to show you because these will be kind of like the same things that we give out for our July cruise. And because this is a sale with us and not a group cruise, I'm going to show y'all. But, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put these together. Because the meet and greet is in like 30 minutes. Yeah. So we'll be back. Shout out to Level 8 for sponsoring this portion of the video. When they reached out to us and said, hey, we have a two-piece textured luggage set that we would like to send over to you all. And to feature on your channel, we were like, Level 8? Oh, that's a no-brainer because I know y'all looking at the screen saying... I thought y'all were the carry-on only people. You would be correct. We are the carry-on only people, but guess what brand of luggage that we tend to carry while we're in our travels? Level 8. So like I said, when they came through, we were like, no brainer. We love your brand. We trust your brand. And we know it takes a licking and keeps on ticking. So we are featuring today the 20 inch and the 28 inch. It also comes in the 20 inch and the 24 inch. So you have options for your two piece luggage set if you were interested in getting one. What I did love about the set is both compartments within the luggage set came with the zippered netting. There is nothing like opening your luggage and one side has the netting and the other side just has the X strap. And once you open it, of course you're gonna open it on the side where the X strap just tosses all of your things on the floor 
you're just never going to open it on the right direction. It's just never going to happen. But I did like that this came with both options. So you can take that X strap, pull it tight, compress your things, then zip it closed. Then it had the two um, pockets on the front where you can just put things on the inside as you need them. Really deep. Didn't feel like I couldn't take all the things that I needed to take on vacation. Even in a carry-on, it was like a dream. As you can see that the 360 degree wheels, they glide, they turn on a dime. We've tested this in Miami on the carpet in the terminal. And when I tell you no pulling, no tugging, it just glides and it's uber quiet. The TSA locks that are built into this luggage are very secure, very sturdy, and we tested those things out. And what I love about that is TSA is able to get in and the people that have no business looking through your things, are not easily able to get in. So keep the people out, let TSA in. So here is the checked luggage set. Well, the checked luggage piece, I should say. So this is the 28 inch. And as you can see, we packed it to capacity and we did that on purpose because we really wanted to test it to its maximum capacity because if you're gonna check a bag, you're gonna pay the fee for it. You might as well just take everything that you think you need to take. So what we decided to do was he put his things on one side. I put my things on the other side to see if we can pack our things in one piece of luggage. We could, but I also spilled over and put my stuff on his side. Don't, don't judge me, judge somebody else. It's a wife thing. We just take over. So if you're interested in grabbing up this two piece textured luggage set, the link will be down below. You can't get any better than TSA locks, 360 degree spinner wheels, a good handle, zipper compartments for your things. Come on, grab it up. y'all we sailing on out so they go msc seascape right there we're gonna be on that with jazz and rich them of melon that sea in november they waving at us that's the divina on. yeah we met a lot of people not a lot but a few people at the at the uh, hotel that was getting on the norwegian yeah. skate and some on msc seascape yeah too. so this is um the shack attack from the uh, big chicken and that's the fries and the queen got some of the chicken tenders and fries it's um uh, and I got the shack sauce on the side. Let's see. Well, that shack sauce is good. Yeah, shack sauce is good. Mm hmm. That's good. All right. Hey, we've been having so much fun. We've been met so we much. Been yeah. young for real. We've we been met so many family members on here, man. But uh, we get ready to get into um, dinner right now. Yeah. I feel like they have this thing called first available. Yeah. So that's whatever good. free things they have available, you can click into it. So I wanted to go to Shebang, but I didn't want to throw that on my family at the last minute. And then it sent me to Shebang, so look at God. All right, fam, this was the end of our night. We ended it here at Shebang with our family, which we had a great time. If you want to find out how the food would, check out our carnival uh, uh, celebration review. And we are going to catch you guys in the next vlog, straight from the VA, the Dirty Dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla! Boom!